it's time for another English Tastic episode where learning English is always fun and fantastic. I am Teacher Dash, your English Tastic teacher. Let us discover and learn new things in English 3, the Teacher Dash way. Today is going to be a great day of learning English. I am glad to be with you today as we continue to explore the amazing world of reading. For today's episode, we will discuss a specific type of homonym called a homophone. Homophones are words that sound the same but they are spelled differently. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to give examples of homophones and use them in sentences correctly. To begin, let us recall what we have learned from our past episode. Let's do the English recap. In our last episode, we identified words that have the same sound and spelling but with different meanings. What do we call those words? Oh yes, they are called homonyms. Can you recall some homonyms we mentioned in our last episode? Great! We learned the words fly, scale, ring, back, palm, chest, wave, ruler, watch, letter, and part. These words have two or more meanings. Fly does not just mean moving through the air. It could also refer to an insect. The word fly could be used as a noun or as a verb. This time, we will learn about homophones. Homophones are homonyms that do not have the same spelling and meaning, but they still sound the same. So kids, please get ready with your paper, pencil, and self-learning module. Come on, let the fun begin! Hey look! I get a piece of mail from my mail friend. Wait, did I just say mail twice? Do you think they mean the same thing and are spelled the same way? You're right. They don't mean the same thing and they are spelled differently. But did you notice that they sound the same? They are still homonyms. But let's call them homophones to make sure that we know that they're different. The first male is spelled M-A-I-L. This word refers to a letter or a package sent from one person to another through the post office. The second male is spelled M-A-L-E. This word refers to a man or a boy. So, male, M-A-I-L, and male, M-A-L-E, are examples of homonyms with different spellings and meanings, but they have the same sound. Now, let us try to do this activity and see if we can find some words that sound alike. You need to be very alert on this one. Directions Identify the correct word by unscrambling the given letters. The pictures are given as your clues. You have 3 seconds to answer each item. Here is the first one. Wait is correct. W-A-I-T Wait Next, right is correct. W R I T E, right. Next, sail is correct. S A L E, sail. How about this? Right is correct. R I G H T. Right. Now this. Wait 
is correct. W E I G H T. Wait. Here is the last one. Sail is correct. S A I L. Sail. Well then, children, here is your English Superstar Stamp. Again, here are the words that we had in our first activity. Please listen carefully as I read them again. Wait, write, sail, write, wait, sail. Kids, do you think there were words that sounded the same when you listened to the words I just read? Yes, there were. What are they? We have the words wait, W-A-I-T, and wait, W-E-I-G-H-T. Right, W-R-I-T-E, and right, R-I-G-H-T. T. Sail. S A I L and sail. S A L E. Can you think of other words that sound alike but have different meanings? Okay, we have the words C. S E A C. S E E. Me. M E E T and meet M E A T. Break B R E A K and break B R A K E. Sun S O N Sun S U N Eight a T E and A E I G H T. Night N I G H T and night K N I G H T. Board B O R E D and board B O A R D. Pear, P-E-A-R, and pear, P-A-I-R. This time, let us practice using the correct homophones in each of the following sentences. Directions. Encircle the correct homophones in the parentheses to complete the sentence. Number one. Harry is the son of Uncle Ben. Which is the right word for the sentence? That's correct. The word is son, spelled S-O-N, son. Number two. I write a letter to my best friend every month. What do you think is the correct word for this sentence? You're correct. It's right. W-R-I-T-E. Right. Number three. Jake, read the writings on the board. What word fits the sentence? All right, it's board. B O A R D. Board. Number four. I am eight years old. In this sentence, we are talking about a number. Which of the choices refer to a number? You're correct. Eight. E. I G H T 8 Number 5 
it was her first time to meet her grandma. Which of the choices make the sentence correct? You got it! It's the word meet with a double E. M E E T. Meet. Great job, kids! You did an excellent job in identifying the homophones in the given sentences. Here is another English superstar stamp. Homophones may be tricky and confusing. Why? Because they are words with the same sound. Knowing the spelling of the words will greatly help you to differentiate a word from the other. So now, let us practice spelling out some words using our homophones crossword puzzle. Let's start with the words going down. What is the child doing? Is he looking at something but trying to avoid being seen? Yes, he is trying to peek. P E E K. Peek. Next, have you tried playing a game where you look fixedly at someone with one's eyes wide open, like in this picture? What do you call that action? Nice work! Stare is correct! S T A R E Stare How about this one? I think it's a storybook. What four-letter word is similar to the word story? You're right again. It's the word tail. T-A-L-E Tail Now let us have the words across. Let's start with this mountain. What do you call the pointed top of a mountain? Brilliant! We call it a peak. P-E-A-K Peak can you guess what sea creature this is? It's a whale. What part of the whale's body is that? Oh yes, it's a tail. T-A-I-L Tail Lastly, we are looking for a word which is defined as having a set of steps Connecting one floor of a building to the next floor. What do we call this word? Awesome! It's called stair. S T A I R. Stair. English Tastic Word Children, you deserve another English Superstar Stamp. Again, let us remember that homophones are words that sound the same but they are spelled differently and they have different meanings. And speaking of different, let us listen to the story of a girl who gives the word adopted a beautiful and different meaning. Here is our guest storyteller to read us the story entitled, The Adopted Child. The Adopted Child in one class, the students and their teacher were examining a beautiful painting of a family. There was a child in the painting whose hair color was different from the other members of the family. The teacher asked why, and one of the children said that the child was probably adopted. One of the girls then said, I know it was adoption because I am adopted. The other girl asked, What does adoption mean? It is very simple, the adopted girl responded. Instead of growing in the womb of your mother, you grow in her heart. Did you like that short story? So what is the meaning of the word adopted given by the girl in the story? Oh 
all right. According to the girl, adopted means growing in the heart of a mother instead of growing in her womb. But what is really the meaning of the word adopted? Based on the dictionary, adopted means legally taken by another family to be taken care of as their own child. Do you like the meaning of the word adopted given by the girl? Even though it's different from the meaning we found in the dictionary? Me too! If you were the adopted girl in the story, would you be sad? I'm sure you wouldn't be, because that someone cared enough for you to adopt you, and you are loved by that someone who chose to make you part of his or her family. That was a very nice story. I hope you learned a lesson from that story. Let us be thankful to our parents, whether they are our biological or foster parents. We should be grateful to them for raising us, for providing our needs, and for loving us unconditionally. And that ends our lesson for today on homophones. Again, let us remember that homophones refer to words that have the same sound but they have different spelling and meanings. I hope to see you kids in our next English Tastic episode. Once again, I am Teacher Dash, your English Tastic teacher. And this is Dot Ed TV, where you will find your 21st century on the go learning. Bye, kids! See you next time!